Hey guys, get ready with me to go to the corner shop and get snacks and watch Christmas movies all day. I don't know why, I'm just in the mood to do a full face of makeup, so that's what I'm finna do. I was literally raging this morning because I couldn't get the Maribel card on the Disney 100 thingy magic. I generally feel like it's a scam, like I actually give up, I can't be asked anymore. I might not even end up going to the corner shop, I just love getting ready for literally no reason. I actually don't know why my makeup turns out so good when I'm not going anywhere. It's actually really annoying because I'm gonna have to wipe this off because I'm gonna wash my hair. Because it's self care Sunday. I would go out today with my friends but I just like my own company and I just want to be by myself because I'm a loner. I've literally been seeing all over my For You page about this war between Passline and Israel. But I support Passline. I'm so sorry if I said it wrong. Because of the stuff I've seen, I 100% support that. I'm gonna try out my new bit of beauty powder. I'm not really a person that likes to bake but today I will give it a go because I'm feeling bougie. Okay, whilst that's baking, I'm gonna put some lip gloss on. Also, I'm getting my nails done tomorrow, so I might record a get ready with me for that. And I'm also gonna post on my Instagram story what nail I should get. So follow my Instagram. Now I'm gonna use some of my Fenty highlighter. This highlighter is literally the prettiest thing I've seen in my life. Now time for setting spray. Period. This is the outcome. Bye, y'all. Good morning, guys. Get ready with me for school. Guys, I have a history course today and I think I know what I'm doing. I'm actually prepared for this. Okay, today I'm going to try the Good Molecules Niacinamide Brightening Toner. I've never tried anything from Good Molecules, but I've always like wanted to. Oh my goodness. That feels so good. It's a whole different texture than the Glow Recipe one that I usually use. It's a lot less like the Glow... Glow recipe one's kind of like slimy. This one's like watery. But I like both the textures. I like this one. I'm not going to use my pink serum today, so I'm going to use my niacinamide one from The Ordinary. I haven't used this one in so long. Like, this used to be like, I would grab this every day, but then I ran out and I never bought it again because I wanted to try the pink serum. But I love this. That also mixed so well with the Good Molecules toner. Like, it left my face feeling so good and hydrated. Okay, now it's time for my Bioma and Say concoction. I'm going to add four dots of this on top of the Bioma. Okay, now I'm going to wear my Rare Beauty Eye Brightener. I love this stuff. It's so 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 good okay i just did my lashes how i usually do them but now i'm gonna use my nyx brow glue and i usually use the elf um soap brow thing but i really wanted to try this okay i like that a lot okay i just did my milk bronzer but for some reason the clip deleted so but it's okay okay now i'm gonna use my hula bronzer okay now me is my benetton i should have gotten another one of these when i was at ulta yesterday okay guys now i'm gonna try my new rare beauty i'm blush i'm so i don't know why i just tapped it oh my goodness that's so pretty guys this is my new favorite blush i love it okay now i'm gonna use my rare beauty highlighter I'm obsessed with this too. I love this. I use this all the time. Okay, last thing is setting spray. Period. For perfume, I'm gonna do my coach. Okay, for lips, I'm gonna do my e.l.f. lip oil. That's it. Bye, love you guys. Mwah. Hi guys, get ready with me. This is the outfit of the day. American Eagle, Adidas, and target i actually got this shirt on clearance i just drew a blank and totally forgot where it was from i'm just getting ready to go to class it is so beautiful out today that's why i'm wearing shorts after class i have a nail appointment I made it for four o'clock so that i have time to stop and get starbucks these will be my prom nails i'm also getting a pedicure because the dogs are looking a little rough i usually do gel on my toes so i only have to get them done about once a month one thing about me, I can never seem to do any color besides white on my toes. In my prom dress, you're not really going to be able to see my toes. However, they are still in desperate need of a pedicure. 
We are officially three days out from prom. I'm currently working on a prom week vlog and I literally cannot wait to share that with you guys. The fact that I have a literal digital diary is so cool. I also think it's so cool that one day I'm gonna be able to look at all my memories. But prom isn't the only thing happening on Friday. The tortured Poets Department is coming out. I literally can't even express how excited I am for that album. I've been looking forward to it since the day she announced it. So lots of exciting things going on this week. Also have the worst urge to self tan. Literally feel so pale, but I can't do it because I have my spray tan tomorrow. I'm kind of nervous because I've never had a professional spray tan before. At the same time, I don't really care because I would rather be orange than pale. When I'm pale, I literally look like I'm sick. Also going back and forth between two nail designs right now. Not sure which ones I'm gonna get. So I'm just gonna talk to my nail tech and whichever ones he recommends is what we'll do. Well, I don't know if I should leave my hair down for today or if I should like put two little ponytails in. I'm nervous to leave it down because it might get greasy. I don't know. I am the worst at making decisions. For some reason, whenever I put on blush, I have like a good amount on in person, but on the camera, it looks like I didn't do anything. Just got this lip oil. You guys, I am so obsessed. 100% recommend. Okay, I made the executive decision that I'm gonna leave my hair down. Have a blessed Tuesday. Bye, guys. Get ready with me, kinda. So, I'm doing my makeup for the day. I'm going to brunch with me and Mumsy. As you can see, I low key already started because I wasn't sure if I wanted to record or not. As you can see, the base is looking fine. Nothing too much with it. It's Saturday, and usually I have work on Saturdays, but. They've been cutting back everyone's shifts, so I did not get my Saturday shift, so I'm just gonna frolic the day. Like, if they don't want me working, then I will work the streets. Oh! Okay, um, not in that way. Okay, yeah, I take it back a wee bit. That came out extraordinarily wrong. I'm gonna do a little combination of brush and blender today because I feel like I like the blush. <laughs> I like the brush more. But I feel like for my creases, a beauty blender works better on the inner corner. But I don't know. <sighs> do I need to start wearing like a bib when I do my makeup? Because how am I always getting shit on me whenever I wear white? Like I hate it. Y'all need to wake the fuck up and go buy this blush. Dead ass. Like... <gasps> Big reveal, ooh. It's so good. I haven't used the Chanel highlighter in a while, so we're gonna add on to this with even more pink. Anyway, so I think I'm gonna block every single person that posts literally anything from Coachella because it's actually ruining my life in comparison to the Thief of Joy. So if you post anything about Coachella, like any pictures, any videos, you're blocked. I don't even want to talk to you. I don't even want to see nothing. You're blocked. I deserve to be there, okay? I deserve to be the one watching 80s. Not anyone else. I deserve to be the one watching 80s. Not anyone else. I'm about to lose my mind. I swear to God, I'm about to lose my mind. This only confirms I need to go to Lollapalooza. If I don't go to Lollapalooza, you're not going to hear from me. I'm offing myself. dead ass. Don't play because I'm capable. So yeah, I was actually supposed to be on the Coastus brand trip, but I just wanted to like stay humble and not go. And that's the only reason why I'm not in Coachella right now is because I just wanted to stay humble to my roots and I just wanted to be relatable. So that's, I got many offers to go to Coachella actually. And I declined all of them because I thought, you know, like how can I be for the people to the people from the people if I'm not the people, you know what I mean? Something along the lines of such. And I'm Jessica the Coolest. Peace, y'all. Hey, guys, get ready with me. Guys, we're freaking MCAT testing today, bro. You guys don't understand. Like, if you don't know what MCAT testing is, it's literally state testing. And we have it all week. And we have to be in, like, whatever class you get picked out for three hours to test. And then they give you, like, an extra hour because, like, people take long. And then you always finish early. And then you have to sit there. But I just know, I just know that my nap is going to hit. Whenever we have MCAT, my naps are so good. But I got a classroom that's so bright and so freezing. So I'm wearing hoodie and sweats right now. But the only thing is that all of our classes are going to be so short this week because of testing. Which is going to feel nice because school's going to feel like it's going by a lot faster.
that you guys don't understand also my braids like really messed up right now so ignore that but you guys don't understand like state testing is so annoying because you actually have to like try on the test too like i know that sounds bad like i should be trying on every test but when it doesn't matter and yeah and we're not allowed to like have airpods or phones obviously and i literally cannot concentrate without my airpods and if we do we ha have to like freaking get our test deleted and stuff like they are doing too much i'm literally gonna literally like run away i'm back bye that's literally what i'm gonna be like okay that was not a banger okay also my nails are so ugly right now because they're boring like there's nothing on them <sighs> i don't know if i want to wear makeup today i don't think i do because i'm gonna sleep and it's all gonna come off anyway and i don't yeah i'm just going to anyways but we're gonna do a lot less and like it a lot faster because i actually want to make myself like some type of breakfast like a pop tart or something because i need to like have food in my system today i guess i always get school i mean school breakfast but it's not enough to fill me up so we're going to make pop tarts and when i say make pop tarts i mean toast them and i don't care what anyone says toasting pop tarts is so good it's literally like a toaster strudel type thing because they're warm and yummy so boom bro it feels like there's a hair on my face and like i can't figure out where it is i'm like stressing out all my friends are bringing a blanket to school because like their rooms are freezing and mine is too, but like I don't want to wear a blanket because then I'm gonna have to carry it around all day, or I'm gonna put it in my locker and forget about it. And for some reason, our school has a strict no blanket policy, but I think it, like we're allowed to during MCAT because it's freezing. But I'm also supposed to bring snacks because we don't have lunch till a lot later than MCAT. So, but I don't really have any snacks to bring. So I don't know what to do. Maybe I'll like pack some trail mix, guys. I don't even care what anyone says. Trail mix is good. Like nobody's arguing with me about this, but like I'm just saying that trail mix can be delicious. Like if you're like hungry, like it's such a little I just like went blind. Like I got so close to the light and my vision just like went away. Maybe I'll bring popcorn to school and pop it in my teacher's microwave. I did that the other day. The only thing is that it needed butter and salt, but you know, maybe I'll just bring a stick of butter to school, no biggie. Okay, guys. I don't know if I should make an outfit video today because, you know, my fit is kind of really lazy. Also, guys, my mom got me the Adidas campuses, and I'm so excited. Because I've been wanted those for a long time. Because I feel like they're such like a simple sneaker. And then everyone started buying them. And I was like, oh. But it's okay. Because I might look like not. I might look like a wannabe. But I'm not, guys. I'm one of the originals. I think the Adidas Sambas are like. Sambas, however you pronounce it, are cool. Like how you can like decorate them. But like looks wise, they are not cute. They look like a bowling shoe. Like some people can make them look cute. But like not a lot like i don't think i can make those look cute anyways guys i literally am going to pass away today like <sighs> testing is like one of the worst things about school like school is kind of fun sometimes like you see your friends you blah blah, blah. but testing like like what's the reason also our school can get like an extra 20 bucks if our school like is the highest in MCAT. That's like how it is. Like if we have the highest test scores out of all the schools in our like um, county or something, our school gets like extra funding, but I know that's like only probably like $20. Our school's just broke. But let me stop being a negative Nancy. I'm literally about to eat my lips off cause I'm gonna go eat a Pop-Tart. Like I've said like 10 times, can you tell I want a Pop-Tart right now? But it's okay. Okay, I look literally insane. Like, my hair is so messy. But anyways, peace out, guys. Love you. Good morning, guys. We have a change in scenery today because I'm in Sue's bathroom. I slept over here last night because her husband's out of town and we're leaving on a little girl's trip today. And I just woke up. She's with a nail client right now, but we're going to leave when she's done. So I'm going to get ready. Otis woke me up to go outside at like 6.50 today and I couldn't go back to sleep. So I'm so tired. I'm so excited to go to St. George, though, because it's going to be like 80 degrees there. And it's like how the dogs are laying right now. They are literally best friends.
going to be weird to drive for like three and a half hours today because I like never drive Mark Drake's everywhere we go. So driving for a long time is going to be so weird. This is me and Sue's second year in a row going on a girl's trip to St. George. I don't even know if I've ever told this story, but that's basically how we became friends. It was like her second time ever doing my nails, also the second time I'd ever met her. I knew we were planning this girl's trip, so I asked her to come with us. And she came and we've been friends ever since. Then our friend Cass is also coming. She's taken me and Mark's pictures a few times. She took the studio ones that I posted like 500 times. She's actually shooting a wedding today too, so she's flying in tonight. I know I keep saying this, but my hair is getting so long. And since I've had it straight the last few days, it just feels even longer. I want to be comfy in the car, so I'm going to wear this crew neck. And then I have shorts on right now, but I'm going to switch out for sweatpants. We have to make a few stops on the way before we head out because we need to drop off Indy Sue's dog at her sister-in-law's house. And then we have to go to my house to get Otis's food for the weekend. Then I'm dropping him off at Mark's. So we have to make a few pit stops. Okay, I'm almost out of my makeup. I just need to finish my eyelashes. Okay, I'm all done with my makeup and I have everything I use linked in my Amazon storefront under makeup. Get ready with me for a baseball game. So I'm at a different location because I've been switching rooms all day. Okay, I picked up my hair because it's so hot outside. My best friend's fixing to pick me up, so I don't have time for a full face of makeup, so I'm just going to do my brows. They play so late, so either way, it's going to get dark in a few, so no one's going to see my fat pimple. Guys, I'm literally so impatient. I was literally going to cry if I didn't finish my room today. <gasps> oh, that was a lot. What did I just do? I don't have time for this. That was my sign to not wear makeup at all because what was that? <laughs> I love the pigment. Definitely will be trying later with the full face. Anyways, yeah, I moved rooms because I need more space and this room is bigger. Just gonna spray myself with this. Also, guys, I didn't go to school today, so it's been a great day. I literally just moved in here and I'm already making a mess. I'm debating if I should do gold or silver jewelry. I don't know. Anyways, goodbye, guys. I love y'all so much and I hope y'all have a great evening. I'm gonna go sit in a heat wave now. In middle school, I would literally get phone calls home or in school suspension for the most stupidest things you could think of. Like, get ready with me while I tell you stupid reasons I got in trouble. And it gets worse every time. Before we start the video, if this gets on your For You page, please comment For You page because I try to follow some people and notice everybody back who comments For You page. So please don't forget to comment For You page if this is on your For You page. Okay, so we weren't allowed to eat snacks in like class because the school had a mice infection or infestant. I don't know what you want to call it. But I woke up late and I was really hungry that day. So me and my friend, we would always we would always eat anyway. Because the teacher sits in the front and the way our desk were, like we had these binders. So we would just put the food in our binders. But mm, we had this assistant teacher. Anyway, so I finished my Pop-Tart and I'm eating a little Slim Jim. So it's not going to take me long. He comes up to me with the trash can. Okay, so I have ate the whole Slim Jim and like I had the wrapper and I took it like this. I was like, do you want it now? Do you want it now? Because we were kind of arguing because he like, he kept telling me to throw it away. I was like, I spent money on this food. I'm not about to throw it away. And Flayton, hello. That's when my history teacher told me to step out of class. He said he was going to call my mom because that was disrespectful, which I mean, like, I'm not going to lie. I kind of was. but Okay, I don't know about y'all, but sometimes me and my friend, we were like racist to each other because like we're the same race. So like, it doesn't really matter. We don't care. I don't know if y'all do that, but we did that. And she was throwing paper balls at me. The teacher was like, pick it up. And I was like, yeah, pick up your cot. By the way, this is a real story time. I don't lie anymore because it's kind of tacky now. So she told me to stay after class. And um, she was like, she was going to call my mom. You want to know why I got in more trouble though? Because this girl literally tells the teacher, but it's our joke to make. I ain't getting trouble at home, but my mom said just stop doing stupid stuff. Okay, now this is what I got um, ISS for. In middle school, the rules were you go to your locker, then you go back to your homeroom, and then you can go home. But I decided that I didn't want to go to homeroom that day, so when my teacher was calling my name, I literally ran down the stairs. But let me know if y'all want a part two, because there's way more. If you stayed all the way to the end, just comment in the comments. I stayed. There is no emoji today. But bye, guys. Have a good day.